Yirashimase. Hello and welcome to Fataris' Kitchen. I'm your host, Chef Fataris. Today, I've got a little shoot 'em up extra for you. IFO. A fun Game & Watch-like shoot 'em up now on the Nintendo Switch. What kind of taste will it have? Let's get cooking and find out. From Total Battery and Turtle Cream, IFO was a title that had previously released on Steam and the Nintendo 3DS. Now, in August of 2021, it's available for the Nintendo Switch, and really, I feel like this is a super fun, cute title to pick up and have on your Switch. So the aesthetic is very much that of a Game & Watch title, and really I feel that like so much of the gameplay kind of captures that idea as well. So you've got this like really cute screen, and you've even got like the timer showing in the like uh, top, or rather your time showing in the top left, and then you've got the buttons displayed on the bottom. So. Uh, there are a couple options as well. This game does have online ranking, so you can compare yourself against others that are putting scores in the game. It's actually a great uh, competitive game for that particular purpose. There's also some fun help and options. You can change the color of your um, uh, border, so green being my favorite, and also take away the scratch that it has. Uh, the screen has. Uh, I do wish there were some more control options though. You can only control the game with like uh, the bumpers. That does kind of fit the aesthetic, but I just, was just wishing for a little bit more. So as far as our control options are concerned, so it kind of like mirrors the look of those buttons as I was mentioning. We can use the triggers or the bumps should you change your control scheme to uh, fit those to move our plane left and right. The firing is auto fire. So as far as the rest of the gameplay is concerned, we're fighting these aliens that are, well, attacking Earth. And um, there's some other mechanics that uh, we'll see manifest throughout the course of the gameplay. So as we destroy the uh, aliens, you'll see that there's like a little um, counter that counts up. Uh, basically that like round one that's got the level zero and then as we fill up by defeating enemies it becomes level one level two level three so that's the power of our shot so we want to continue to chain enemies to build that up as we'll get a more powerful shot and really being a full power like uh, helps your like a uh, gameplay significantly in addition to that every once in a while we'll come across aliens that are, have abducted um, cows or sheep and those cows and sheep will have um, power-ups uh, that we can get from them in addition to also refilling our life uh, should we need it. Um, there's also some point bonuses from picking up uh, aliens and as the gameplay um, continues uh, things will get more and more difficult. We'll see other types of aliens uh, and even like uh, some bosses. So here's a cow with a bee. Bee gave us a back shot which actually could be pretty useful in this kind of gameplay. So if you like the title Luft Rousers then I think this is one that you'll definitely enjoy. Though just from a the um, just cute nature and aesthetic of the gameplay itself as well as a great price point this is one that I encourage you look into and pick up it's just a lot of fun to just kick back and play it really does kind of uh, harken back to those days of Game & Watch titles where you've got a simple gameplay loop that's like fun and enjoyable um, but it does like uh, they generally tend to be short um, either just due to difficulty or just that's just the way that the game itself was designed. As far as minus flavors are concerned, so this one is more just like uh, me wanting a little bit more with the game itself. I would have liked to have either more movement options or um, the ability to use like maybe the analog stick for control. I know that's not in keeping with like uh, the general idea of a Game & Watch type uh, um, game. Uh, having those that kind of control options, but I would have just liked to, to have a, just a little bit more fine control on the movement and the shooting. But as far as the pl uh, the plus flavors are concerned, I just love like the feel, the aesthetics, the gameplay of this title. Just su does such an excellent job of capturing that um, kind of like small handheld experience. Uh, from the uh, days of yore and so especially if you've played like uh, Game & Watch titles uh, then this is one that I think you might be able to enjoy and um, really given the, the price point as well I think this is like well worth your money and your time. Alright that'll just about wrap it up for this little video. I want to thank you so much for joining me this week or rather <laughs> today and I look forward to seeing you again next time.